Uh, pleased to be joined by Kyle Gibson of the Baltimore Orioles, who joins us now here on MLB Central. Kyle, let me just start with an uncomfortable question right off the bat here. Uh, talking about your, your, home, your team's home run celebration, I'm going to quote you here. We wanted to make sure that it's rebranded a little bit. It's a Homer hose, not a uh, dong bong. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, where where, where, where did you, you uh, yeah where are you at on the on the this home is... run celebration and how did you guys come up with it? Uh, well, I think I also said that I did not have uh, dong bong on my career bingo card. <laughs> phrases, I would say in a media interview. Um, no, we. Uh, I mean, it really was like drinking out of a hose as a kid, right? You go in yeah. the back and you're having fun playing wiffle ball. And uh, that was our goal. So when it got coined the other term very quickly, yeah. uh, McCann and a couple other guys were like, all right, let's get ahead of this, guys. This I is like a homer that. hose. They got okay, ahead of it. Let's try to make sure that we get out front. I, kinda, I think the water fountain's even better. How did that come to be? Yeah, that's a good one, too. Honestly, so, so both of these happened while I was pitching. The first one, the water sprinklers in Texas, so I had no idea what was going on the next day uh, when I was supposed to be doing it. And then the homer hose, Cole Irvin and uh, and Keegan Aiken did the homer hose during my start here. So once again, I'm the one who has to answer questions, and I have no idea even what's going on. But, uh, yeah, these guys are getting creative. It's a young team that's having fun, and the sprinklers are pretty good. You know, everybody's trying to find something to do yeah. to have fun. When, when you hit a double extra base hit, uh, the sprinklers are pretty good. Kyle, have you ever funneled a beer? Uh, no, I am. I'm not much of a drinker, I so no, him. I have not done that. That's, that's <laughs> can't, he can't be trusted if you no, he, the beer. He's, he's, well, he's you a dude that you and do. Lauren Shahadi would be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, let's good. get honestly. All kidding aside, you've been awesome this year. Gotten off to a great start, pitching great. Can you dive in and take us in what you're doing a little bit differently, if anything? Uh, so I've I've added this you know the the sweeper this new thing right so uh, oh come you know, really on get into this <laughs> I, I'm, I've taken taken my slider and, and making it go to the left a little bit um, seeing how it plays off my my sinker maybe just a little bit better versus the the slider that I threw my whole career going down a little bit um, so I think that's been part of it but you know uh, pitch execution is is just really important and uh, you know between Adley and James you know, we've had pretty good plans going out there each yeah. time and and for the most part I've been able to execute so when you're not 95 to 98 uh, and and you don't have some of the other stuff you got to be able to execute a little bit so been uh, fortunate I've been able to do that Kyle talk a little bit more about your your two catchers and Adley Rushman I guess is the one I'm really leaning on because what he's been able to do you've been around um, have you seen anything like this dude because since he's come up the Orioles to me have been a completely different team you look at the win losses that you attach to him you look at his relationship that he has with the pitchers on the bump um, tell me what you see from him uh, coming over. Sure. Uh, I've been really fortunate uh, throughout my career to throw to, to quite a few guys. And, um, you know, Adley's right up there at the top with all of them. Um, you know, he's just he's got a good head on his shoulders with how he likes to call a game and, and take us pitchers through a game. Uh, and when you have a guy behind the plate that can do it on both sides of the ball and, and is a switch hitter, he's obviously a special talent. Um, you know, it's one of the things talking with Jordan Lyles this offseason about coming to Baltimore. Uh, as a starting pitcher, it's important, I think, to have a good relationship with your catcher. And to, to come to a team that has a guy like Adley, uh, it was definitely a selling point. So um, been uh, been excited to throw to him so far, and, and uh, he's going to be a good player for a long time. Hey, you mentioned the, the young team that are having fun. Uh, I was sitting on the desk last night. You guys were losing. You guys almost came back. Didn't yeah. quite happen. But you're sitting on the desk, and I saw 7 nothing. and I said nothing would surprise me right now if the Orioles come back and possibly win this game. What is it about this crew? Um, because they're, they're late inning heroics, they're walk-offs recently and things like that, and you guys just fell short last night. Yeah, I think you just got to keep your mind in the game. Uh, those games are tough. You know, there, not many times do you really uh, come back and, and finish that comeback. Not a lot of times do you score four there in the, in the ninth either. So um, you just got to keep your mind sharp. You got to uh, you got to stay locked in and not give away at bats. Uh, it's really easy to give away one at bat here or one inning there, and then you get to the end of the year and you've given away you know ten innings as a pitcher or twenty at bats as a hitter. And and D Row and 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 Rippy, you guys know like that does a lot to, to just the end of the year. So uh, credit to these offensive guys for, for locking it in and, and, and staying in the game all nine innings because that's the only way you do that. Kyle, uh, th this is a obviously a young team, and that includes the rotation. Yeah. You are the, uh, f the, the de facto elder statesman in that rotation. What's that been like working around or working with 
uh, so many uh, young players in that rotation. Yeah, uh, up until I think when we traded for Danny Coulomb, I was the only player born in the 80s on this team. So uh, they've, they've let me know every step of the way that I'm clearly the oldest guy. Uh, but that's good. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoy it. You know, I was really fortunate in Minnesota to have uh, quite a few veteran starting pitchers for me to lean on. Uh, and all I'm trying to do is make myself available, you know, be able to answer questions about some of the struggles I've been through, some of the things that help, have helped me bounce back from those struggles, and just to see if I can help these guys through, uh, you know, some of the rocky roads that they're going to face uh, or maybe they're going through right now. Um, it's been a lot of fun just sitting in the dugout and talking baseball with these these other rotation guys. and. They're asking awesome questions, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun being here with them. Kyle, we turned your uh, manager into a landscaper in a landscaping company about <laughs> oh, 10 days it. ago. I Did you see it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. Absolutely. <laughs> that was he, great. He do you do, you do any yard time. work? Are you handy at all? Because I had you trimming hedges. I've never trimmed yeah. a hedge in my <laughs> life or cut grass, any of that. Are you handy? So... Uh, I uh, so I would say there's a difference. I enjoy doing yard work, but handy where I can fix a lot of things. Uh, I try. I'm trying to learn uh, quite a bit in that area, but I do enjoy doing landscaping and mowing the grass. And it's <laughs> believe it or not, something I'm looking forward to when I'm done playing. Because right now I'm leaning on my wife and my in-laws to do all that yard work. And uh, <laughs> at some point they're probably going to let me know about it. So I got to get back to the house at some point and, and take care of my own property. But I do. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing that when I'm done playing. Well, I've seen your salary. You should hire Brandon Hyde's landscaping company <laughs> and get it dialed in. <laughs> What's he having for breakfast? Yeah, what are you having for breakfast today? Let's see. We had two blueberry pancakes and a piece of bacon okay. um, and uh, a little bit of coffee. Man, that's Very good. good. No eggs? No eggs this morning. You know, I, uh, I hurried out of the kitchen. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Monopoly deal here in the locker room. So got my breakfast eaten, got to the car table so we can play some Monopoly deal and get the, get the uh, day started off right. All right. Hey, Kai, we appreciate you joining yeah, us. Thanks. Uh, congratulations on all your early season ses success. Best of luck to you and your Orioles the rest of the way. Thanks for joining us, Mai. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Appreciate it. You